Hey, good evening to you. It's been just over a week now since the Pacers playoff run ended at the hands of the Celtics. A little time to let it stew, digest, and start planning for next season. And there are really some big, big decisions ahead for this team. Brad Brown with the Sports Extra Spotlight. And that's going to be it. It all ended a lot sooner than anyone wanted. But just as quickly, the Pacers' focus turned to next season. I think we all have to look in the mirror. I think we all have to say we've got to get better. Uh, we've got to look at our process. A second straight exit from the first round of the playoffs left a lot more questions going into this summer. Lead among them, the potential return of Victor Oladipo. When he's back next year, I'm not sure yet. I think it's a little too early to put a timeline on it. It's coming along really nicely, and he feels really good about it. Uh, in Victor style, he has promised that he will come back at 200 to 300 percent of what he was. I like the way our guys uh, responded throughout this season with all the injuries uh, that we had. Uh, I think our coaching staff, uh, our players do a good job of keeping themselves ready. The Pacers enter this offseason with seven players entering free agency. But with $43 million of salary cap space available, they could make a go for one of many big-name players that will be on the market. The thing that we can offer any player and something that we work on every day is we believe that we have a very strong culture. We feel like that we are very player-centric and that uh, players come here and they know that they're going to get taken care of. Back-to-back 48-win -back seasons, but the potential for so much more. Heading into 2020, the Pacers have a good vision of what this team could be. Trying to keep a team together and building for the future, you want to see that growth. You want to see guys uh, take that next step. And I thought that our guys, they showed that growth. They showed that improvement. Late January. Brad Brown reporting a look at the Pacers and free agency. A list is long and robust. Remember, some of these guys could return or absolutely not. Uh, that includes Boyan Bogdanovich, who became the go-to after Vic went down. You would think Thaddeus might return, maybe Darren Collins, but after that, really, who knows? Some interesting decisions to be made by Kevin.